Hi, my name is Gabe Rodriguez. I've been surfing for 15 years. I'm going to talk about the basics on how to stand up on the surfboard. The first thing to do is catch the wave. And you do that by being in the right place at the right time, using long deep strokes to paddle into the wave. And just as the wave starts pushing your board and you feel like you're going to go over the face of the wave and drop down the face, that's when you want to pop up. And we call it a pop-up because it's a quick motion. Uh, people when they're starting, uh, when they're learning how to surf, they tend to put their knee on the board and kind of crawl up onto their feet. That's not good form. The best way to get up to your feet is in a quick pop-up motion. When you're standing up on land, usually what you do is you take and you push your body up over your legs and when you surf if you do that while you're on a surfboard your weight is going to be too far back and you're going to slow down and you're going to you're going to lose the wave and so as you're paddling on the wave you feel the wave behind you you're looking back to make sure that you're still where you think you are with respect to the wave and that it hasn't already broken you need to make sure that you need to paddle some more as the wave starts to pick you up what you want to do is you want to lift your body up and pull your legs under your body. Ideally, your feet would land about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider than shoulder width apart for a nice stable stance and right in the middle of the board, right along the stringer. Right? Your back foot is going to be, uh, depending on the board, between uh, a foot, uh, maybe two feet from the tail, from the end of the board and your front foot is going to be uh, somewhere in the middle of the board. When standing up on a board, timing is everything. If you stand up too soon, you're going to lose the wave. If you stand up too late, you're going to fall. Uh, we call it going over the falls. You kind of tumble over the face and um, it's usually a pretty spectacular um, uh, wipeout if it's a bigger day. If you're on a longboard, you'll be able to stand up a little sooner. And usually on mushy waves, uh, you can stand up a little sooner. If it's a steeper wave, or you're surfing on a shortboard, you have to wait a little bit longer to do the pop-up, to stand up. Again, it depends on the wave. Standing up on a board requires a lot of practice, so don't be discouraged if you don't do it the first time. Uh, a useful exercise to do before you go out is to practice this on the sand. And usually what I do is I take and I draw a surfboard in the sand. Uh, I lay down and I imagine myself paddling for a wave. And when I imagine the wave is starting to pick me up, then I'll do a pop-up, right? I'll push my body up and bring my legs under my body, right? And when I'm up, I'm going to look down at my imaginary surfboard and see where my feet are and see where my feet should be. And I find that it helps my muscles do this automatically. You don't want to have to think about popping up when you need to do it. You want to have your muscles just do it. So practice on the sand and that'll help you out. My name is Gabe Rodriguez and that's the beginning on how to stand up on a board.